Today, we mourn the death of eight-year-old Danielle Rowe. But today, we also remember others of our children who have died at the hands of adults in their lives. Adults who were not strangers. Adults who were related to them adults that they trust. Today, as well, we bring heightened awareness to the cases of abuse of children in Jamaica. The most recent being the brutal abuse, the severe beating of Tyrese Williams, grade 10 student of Cumberland High School. And how could we forget the family from Coco Police, Peace Clarendon, that was brutally killed? Let them forever be in our consciousness. The Child Protection and Family Services Agency, the safety net of the government, is activated when all other safety nets in the homes, in the communities, and other institutions have failed. In its most recent annual report, the CPFSA told us that they responded to 12,604 cases of abuse in one year. And if that does not shock us, I don't know what will. That is one in every 40 children. Looked at it another way, the figures are telling us that one child in every classroom across Jamaica has been abused. Steps have already been taken to install CCTV I know there was swift action on the part of the school leadership here. In the assessment that was done after those eight cameras were installed, it was reported that there are still eight blind spots here on the property. And so already, the Central Ministry of Education and Youth is in the procurement process for an additional eight CCTV here at Brayton Primary and Infant. And our objective going forward is to ensure that our schools are outfitted with CCTV.